Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and as promised we're gonna do a question and answer time today and um, I got six questions that I'm gonna go over about debt-free living and foster care. So if you guys don't know me already my name is Winter and I'm a foster mom and we also have zero debt to our name including our home is all paid for so um, these questions will all reflect that. Um, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And so let's get right into these questions. Some of them are pretty good. So um, Allison V, um, she, hello Allison, I don't know you, but thank you for putting, she put three questions on YouTube. So these all these questions come from her. Um, and the first question is, how did I get the name Winter? And that's a good question. Um, my parents, um, my sisters all have really normal names. Um, like Jessica, Patricia, so those are like normal names and then I was the third born and I was born in December and it was a blizzard name outside and my mom and dad just really enjoyed the name Winter. They heard this other girl, I think it's like kind of a native name actually, that's what they were saying, Native American kids are named Winter. They heard her name was Winter and so they named me Winter and there was blizzard name outside. So December 10th, technically my whole life. I always say it's because I was born in the winter, but just winter time out like technically starts December 21st, so it's kind of a funny thing. So I'm winter because I was born in the winter, so and it was blizzardy not. So it's been weird being named winter my whole life. I gotta admit that because everyone's like, do you have a sister named Summer? And I'm always like, no, no, it's Jessica, and it's kind of funny. So there you go. And then you get songs sang to you all the time. But all right. So the second question from Allison will: Will you ever take in more foster care foster children? and and or adopt again um so the answer to that is we um we we're just talking about this today actually me and chad where we decided that we are going to take in um respite care kids like kids that are in other foster care homes already and then those foster parents need a break we'll take in those ones and we've maybe i don't know we're considering doing like temporary care but you know temporary care can last forever so we just have a lot of kids so I'm not sure where we're at with that so I don't know how we're gonna we only have like so many rooms at our house so so right now the, the plan is just respite care and then adopting from China so that's hopefully since the new China laws Chinese laws have changed um, you can only have five kids in your home so we will potentially after this adoption not adopt from foster care until after if we do after we adopt from China. So that's that's that question, good question. Um, third question is, how do you save money on clothes for your family? Um, we love to save money on buying things specifically. We only, this is the thing, like when we go shopping, we normally have to travel out of town because we live in a small town. Um, we only buy the things that our children really need. We take an assessment of like, okay, this child really needs like, summer shirts or needs shorts or something like that because they grow so fast so we only buy specifically what they need not what's cute so that really helps and then um we shop at a either like old navy kind of store or like outlet malls that really helps a lot so they're a lot cheaper and you can get sales and then also um consignment stores like upscale ones there's one near us that's pretty nice and you can get it pretty discounted stuff and we buy stuff like that and I luckily have a mom who's a kid's grandma who who buys them clothes quite often so that kind of helps as well um the so one thing that we don't really skimp on as far as clothing is concerned is shoes we tend to buy them two pairs of new shoes at the beginning of the school year like nice nicer brands like Under Armour or Nike because they last longer um you get more bang for your buck we've tried to buy them from um cheaper stores before and they just kind of wear out faster and you end up spending more money. So we try to go um, a little bit nicer on those shoes and it helps protect their feet. I feel like feet stuff is kind of important. So yeah, good question. So another question um, that I get that I've gotten was um, can we have kids? Um, like we can have kids technically, but it's just extremely difficult. Um, I have a disease hopefully praying that it won't be a disease for long, but um, called endometriosis. And I also had um, golf ball to baseball size cyst inside my ovaries that had it been removed through laparoscopic surgery a few years ago. And then, um, yeah, my husband has some stuff too, but technically we can have kids. It's just 
extremely difficult. I'm sure if we went the route of IVF or something like that, we could definitely have kids, but um, that would be something that we didn't want to waste money on, so to speak, because we, we felt that we can invest that money into an adoption instead. So yeah, good question. Um, the fifth question is, what do you, we do with money and like training our kids with money? So that is really fun. We we took like um, Dave Ramsey's approach called like commissions for our children. Um, we have like a set of chores in our house that um, our kids have to do, like clean their room, um, put their laundry away, stuff like that. But there's also chores in our house that they know if they do them every single week, they can get a dollar for them, um, up to five chores. So they could potentially earn $5 a week. So um, one of our child's chores would be like, take out the recycling, wash the table, vacuum. Um, we also do like um, read your Bible for 15 minutes a day. Every day you can get a dollar for doing that. It's like something that we commission them to do as an option. Um, and they can earn up to $5 a week. Our oldest son, he pretty regularly gets um, 4 to $5 a week. Um, and the other one, it tends to be like a dollar or two here and there. So it just depends on like the mentality of each child. But they do know if they want to buy a certain toy or something like that, they have to earn that money. We don't just go out and buy Legos very often. They have to earn that, except for like birthdays and holidays. We do buy them, stuff like that. So yeah, that's a really good question. And it just helps the kids know that when you work, you can, you can make money. So that just helps them a lot. I think it's a good thing to teach your children. And the last question that I have for today for everyone is, um, are you going to adopt the kids in care? I pretty much get this question like pretty much daily from anyone is like, <coughs> excuse me, is like, are you gonna adopt these two children that you have in care? So right now, if you haven't been following our story, we have um, two children that are in care, a four-year-old little girl and a seven-year-old boy. And um, the answer is we want to. Um, it just depends on if the state will let us. Um, so the story is the mom, uh, the mom's rights have been terminated from them, them both, and there is no other family available to them right now to take them in. They sent out letters and no one said these are their kids and they want to adopt them. Uh, but the mom appealed this back in December and it takes about nine months to get it through the system and from what we know is like this appeal po probably isn't gonna go through that's what they're telling us it's probably not gonna go through and she probably won't get that to go through the system so we just have to wait till probably September to know more information and then chop it off there is a certain ethnic group you can probably figure it out that um, is a little bit more like um, difficult there's other factors that can come in from their culture that could cause them not to be adopted so it's kind of confusing the answer is we want to and I hope we're, we're looking at like it's probably gonna happen but it just hasn't happened yet and we don't know anything so so whenever someone asks me like oh nothing's changed you know yep I've had them in their house for six months but nothing's changed so it's kind of funny but that's how foster care is honestly it's just like a waiting game most of the time is like you just do your best for these kids at the moment you're their mom or their dad in that moment and you're gonna parent them until you hear something different so <laughs> it's kind of how it goes down I know that frustrates some people but um, if you've been in foster care long enough you just know that's just the name of the game um with our boys we had them from right from their home like out of their home into our home and that's that um specific situation it took two years to get them adopted and it was a year after the termination of their mom's rights that we even started the adoption process and took another year after that so it just takes a long time and you just got to be used to that and you just don't know anything and that's okay you know you put it in god's hands and you just pray that you can adopt them um and that um if you can't they go to a different home as soon as possible where they're going to be stable and have permanency and be happy, healthy children for the rest of their life. So yeah, those are all the questions that I had for today. Um, I really enjoyed this question and answer thing. So if you guys have more questions, please keep in communication with me about it. And I would love to fill you in in all details of my life. I'm pretty much an open book. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
having the best day ever today. Um, and like I said before, I'm going to do a Q&A session. Um, my husband just uh, took all the kids to the pool. I actually hear them coming in right now, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, but he did a Q&A session for us. And um, <laughs> ah, they're all here, so it's kind of loud. I'm going to try to push through it. Give me a sec. Okay. 